Okay, so after the database configuration assistant creates the database and when you see the progress bar reaching to 100%, you will right now see how the window looks like. See, now the database configuration assistant's progress bar has reached 100% and this is how the dialog box appears. It displays you the name of the database and you see this this is the address through you will use to open the enterprise manager the oracle enterprise manager now what we'll do is we'll cut and paste the uh, enterprise manager address details see it mentions p paul j here is the name of the machine 1158 is the port number and em is the enterprise manager so now what we have done is we have taken the address mentioned before onto the address bar and we open the oracle enterprise manager so when we open the oracle enterprise manager we log in the username and the password yeah and this is how the enterprise manager software looks like i click on i agree and now it displays me the enterprise manager window And this is how that window looks like the home the performance tab it shows you all the performance related statistics about the database the cpu statistic how much cpu is being consumed all the information is available from enterprise manager the next we will see is uh, after the oracle database is installed we will try to log in into sql to log in into sql you do the following just click on the click on the SQL plus icon and this is a window that appears go to programs click on Oracle home click on application and here you see SQL plus click on that and then a window appears which asks you for the username and the password so you log in the username default username as system and enter the password when, which you entered when you creating the database and log in into the database so if i query the table select name from v dollar database it displays me the name of the existing database so that's the next thing what you can do to know whether SQL plus is connected whether you are able to connect to SQL plus after creating the database the third important thing what you can do is after you create the database is you can go into administration tools click on services and here it displays you the various database services which are open so if you want to shut your services you just do a right click and click on stop to stop the database services you see the service like oracle service orcl is the service for the database creation and oracle service orcl is the service for starting the database while uh, starting or shutting down this uh, database uh, you use this service while there is a service called oracle db console or orcl that is used by oracle enterprise management